Hey everybody, welcome to the Ingram Experience. So today, we're gonna to be talking about how to connect with your crystals. And what I mean by that is how to connect with them. Hey! How to imbue yourself with the energy and bring it into your auric field. How to activate the energy to bring in a certain type of manifestation. And also how to connect with the crystal being. Yes, that's right. Every single crystal has a crystal being in it that is a miniature copy of the main being that is in the main crystal deposit that's inside of the earth, okay? So here we go. So crystals are one of my favorite aspects of the spiritual realm because crystals are literally light that has been anchored from the higher dimensions all the way down into earth and then compacted, solidified, and then raised up for us to be able to use. Earth also uses crystals. So it's a thing where we also connect with earth through crystals and we're also able to connect to other cosmic energies, other cosmic beings, other places outside of Earth with crystals. Like crystals are so amazing. So you need to go run to a crystal shop, okay? <laughs> or go online. I like to go on Etsy because that's where a lot of uh, small shops, you know, mom and pop shops are that had to shut down, you know, in the last five years. They're on there. So that's where a lot of the crystals that, such as this, I got on Etsy, this one, just a, there's just a lot of things you can get online if there aren't local crystal shops, okay? So let's say you just got a new crystal. Woo, just got a new crystal and you don't know what to do. You're like, okay, what do I do with this? So step number one, you cleanse it, okay? You can cleanse that with different types of smoke such as Palo Santo, sage, incense smoke. I love the way that smoke clings to the crystals, almost like it's washing it off because it really is, okay? You can also use something such as a bell, the frequency of a bell breaks down mind control. It breaks down energetic programs, okay? So you can just use the sound. Or you can play a sound bowl. You can play your own sound baths. You can just play a song on YouTube. It's really up to you, okay? But first you got to cleanse it because you have to get the energy of everyone else out of your crystal because you're going to be putting your own energy into it so you can connect to it and then make it your crystal, okay? So for this example, I have my piece of meteor that I got recently, so heavy. Yeah. So what you do is you wanna eye gaze with it, which is where you look at it. You wanna notice, is it beautiful? Does it shine? Is it smooth? You wanna to start to appreciate it, which is you connecting your mental space onto the mental space of the crystal, okay? It's like you're projecting yourself onto it. Projection is not always negative. It just depends on what you're projecting, okay? So I have this piece of meteor, it's in my left hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to breathe on it, which is putting my DNA on it, okay? And then, so you can breathe, you know, about you know, three or four times. So, and then breathe in. Breathing in the crystal. Breathe on it. Breathe in. Breathe on it. Breathe in. Then you want to imagine the energy of the crystal going into your body, cycling through your chakras, and then out through your right hand. And then you wanna keep your right hand or your dominant hand under the non-dominant hand. So it creates a cycle, it's creating a system, okay? And then after that, you can just go into meditation. You can write any types of feelings or emotions or thoughts that you get, but just know the mission and the intention is to connect with the crystal being so that they can show you what you need to see, teach you what you need to know, and help you with what you need to be helped with, okay? So there are many different types of crystals. It just depends on what it is that you need energetically, okay? Also, what your intentions are. For example, if you want more abundance and money into your life, then you wanna get citrine. I have a citrine crystal skull. There's all different types of crystal shapes. A raw crystal, such as my ruby right here, is not gonna have as much energy as this crystal skull does when you compare it to the shape. This shape, just an orb shape, circle, globe shape, but then when you have a crystal that has been carved or shaped into a skull, this is a computer. It's, this is the exact same shape as our brain. So I want you to see just like how smart we are and how our brains are smarter than a computer. These are similar. These in ways are smarter than computers. So you might wanna check out crystal skulls. It also helps you connect with your spirit guides. So whatever crystal skull you pick, one of your spirit guides that used to be a human or a humanoid, which means this type of body, it's gonna live in it. Okay, and then it makes it easier for them to be with you. So because instead of a invisible being that you know is there and you can feel and mentally talk to, you can actually speak to this. You can look at it, 
when it's sitting there and you look over, you see another being looking at you. So it's more of a personal experience, more of a, a more humanistic interaction. Okay. So it's just easier for you to get messages and have that facilitation. Okay. So we have the citrine crystal skull. I also have a glacierite dragon crystal skull. You get one of these when you want to connect to the dragon consciousness. Dragons are real, just not physically. Otherwise, we would have seen them. <laughs> okay. Anything that we don't see physically, it's most likely non-physical. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Okay. And then we also have, I have my meteor and I don't really remember what this is called. I just got it recently though. They said that the Greeks called this green gold. I was like, yeah, let me get that. <laughs> let me get that green gold. So you can get raw. You can also get dragon shapes. You can get skull shapes. Just remember, they're crystals. Don't be scared of them because of what the shape is, okay? You are more powerful than anything that you're scared of. You just have to learn how, okay? You can even get a crystal skull that's shaped like this. This is a piece of Stonehenge. This is my Stonehenge crystal skull. And I use it as a pendulum sometimes. I don't really need to ask yes or no questions in that way. I can just ask my spirit guides and they tell me. But you can get anything that you're interested in. There are bird crystal skulls. If you like insects, you can find one of those. You've got fairy crystal skulls, whales and sharks, <laughs> and literally anything, okay? So this is the message from your guides. This is the call to start getting into crystals. And if you already are into crystals, it's time for you to get the next level of them. Amethyst and rose quartz, are literally like the baby crystals. <laughs> like you're supposed to be way beyond that. That doesn't mean you're behind. It just means there's a lot of crystals that you get to learn about and bring that energy into your orc field, which upgrades you during your awakening, okay? So last thing, you can also get crystals depending on what you need. So let's say that you don't feel protected. You feel unsafe where you're at. Then you're gonna look up crystals for protection, crystals that help you feel safe and then you buy that <laughs> and then you start working with it and then you decide what shape you want and all of that but get the crystals based off of your need what you want and the improvements that you want in your life okay so i hope that this helped and feel free to leave any comments if you have any questions or anything that you just want to say and i will talk to y'all next time all right see you later <laughs>